AI is, is very useful. There's a lot of useful tools we can get from it, but it's not replacing us anytime soon. And I, I find it particularly amusing when people say, we're going to better just describe our code in English. I don't know about you, but that has been the biggest bugbear of my career, trying to get somebody to describe in plain English what they actually want us to build. That just was doing like <laughs> a crazy amount of heavy lifting. Just explain it in, in uh, yeah. plain English. <laughs> Yeah. And so I, I haven't met a product owner, product manager, business analyst who can do that well. I certainly haven't met a software engineer that wants to sit down for hours and work out how do I write out all my requirements in English unambiguously. And even then, it's it's very hard to be unambiguous in English. Go and look at, you know, mathematics, physics, any science. They have scientific notation because it's precise. It's unambiguous. We have code because it's precise and unambiguous. So I think we're always going to have some level of needing something that is more precise and less ambiguous than a natural language. As your expertise in a topic goes up, you yearn for the more precise version, right? It's kind of like how when you're first learning math, uh, new mathematical concepts, like the Greek letters and the crazy symbols are just like, why do we do this? This is so confusing. But once you learn what they are and you're talking to another mathematician like you're going to communicate way faster by handing them a formula that describes what you're trying to model rather than like a giant paragraph of text that describes in english what you're trying to model and i, I have very concrete examples of this on boot dev where it's like okay we've got a three-line python function and i have to write the uh, explanation to the student of what it does and how they can write it from scratch themselves that explanation is longer nine out of 10 times. <laughs>